Good morning, my neighbors, and welcome to Dante's Inferno. So, what fresh madness do we have today? This woman find out, say her husband they cheat on her. Now, her own problem, not be say the husband they cheat on her with women, not with woman, the man for the woman for say, okay, no problem. The husband they cheat on her with man. Hmm. Wow. Just want to cheat on her with man. This is my friend wait give me the GCP. They watch me go no say now nah, they just wait give me now nah, they give so. <laughs> <laughs> now we know the friend, but yes. let's not mention the friend. Yeah. In uh, the, the, the woman they cheat on her with the man they cheat on her with another man. The woman now sneaked, sent a message to the guy for them to meet somewhere. The guy can't say that the husband because use use the husband phone. Think he's that he sent the message called delete him. Think he's his baby. Thinking is his baby that is coming to meet him in the hotel. Now the woman carry can go meet him. The woman carry money. I think she, I can't remember how much Okay, she so, so she was going, thinking she was going to meet a girl? She wanted no, to go she, and negotiate with the terrorist. She wanted to go and meet with a guy. She knew it was a guy that the guy oh. was The person that had taken her husband uh, hostage. You see DP, now you see pictures with the man, they send the same prick, they send nyash, the same butthole and, and all that. And they said when she in the weird negligee, all those... Stop it. All those stuff. <laughs> stuff. And, and then, so the, guy, the woman can't go to the hotel, meet the guy. Now the guy tell and say, Madam, now me they keep your marriage. Damn. Hmm. Your husband would have left long time ago. I'm the one that is keeping it. This is what he likes. Forget all this is one other. They have four children. Most of them are in Canada. One, I think two is in Canada. One is in London. Uh, one so other one is in US. You saw what you like. You live what you like. Go to go. You live what you like. Go to do. That's the problem with men not being honest with themselves. Like go. Man, talk. This man, give this gist. Finish now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Talk now. sorry. Oh, the children they outside Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Now, if you man can't go back house, go meet the man. Say, Mbo, I meet you. I'm gonna ask the man para give him why you go meet the guy. This is the guy that makes her makes him happy. Hmm. Well, that is the only way the only way he can remain in the marriage. Now, if she they give him a bad shake, bam bam, where butu they come out from? The woman try him once. It didn't choke him. She don't go meet hot or guy for hospital <laughs> doctor. Doctor tell her say, madam, this is going to be a trouble for you. You are scattering things you are not meant to scatter. The woman can't give, the man can't give him a bomb bomb. That that she should wear the bomb bomb. If when you wear the bomb bomb, say anytime with the man they do, now the thing the man would they do, but not be her. She begin wearing her. But you now got to the point. Now she now they go pimp men for the guy. Still boys down to Although this is a messed up story, you can still link it with those ones that will claim that it's the side chick that is helping them or saving their marriage. That's all bullshit. Your marriage is dead. The side chick, or in this case, the side guy, is just helping you keep that lie that you're in a marriage. The lie you have to tell yourself or tell your wife or your wife have to tell herself to believe that they still have a marriage. The lie you have to tell everybody out. The lie you have to put on your face to come out and do everything like that. It's that side chick that is helping you keep the lie but not the marriage. The marriage is long dead. That's like getting a close range shot from a shotgun and you're put a bandage on it and you're saying you're fine ladies when a guy say he's gay he's not joking around like lesbos let me explain you go they see lesbos go they carry vibrator dildo strap on and go they use them on themselves that's the same that they want dick they may just not like a guy never in your life are you going to see a gay guy put artificial puss puss and the guy will come and be knocking that no i say those ones are serious the sad reality of this life is that many women not all many are more in love with the idea of marriage than their actual partners many women are willing to do atrocities to still be in that idea or image that they are married they have husband for example in this case it is not the gay guy that is saving that marriage or keeping that marriage it's her silence or her stupidity of not talking that is keeping that marriage what you think if she comes out and says she's not doing again and lays everything on the table why she's not doing men can be saying they don't care you sure about that you might be a very big person and that's the thing your wife is accusing you of in nigeria there's a perfectly good reason why there are many big men that will never come out to say they are what they are because apart from that yash they enjoy the other things that they enjoy that comes with people not knowing that they do this kind of shit there's a story that happened a couple of years ago that a woman and her husband died she had a daughter from her husband so later along the line she married another man the child was barely a teenager the child was a teenager one day she came back and found this her new husband sleeping with her child so she drove that husband away do you have any idea the multitude of women in the comment section telling this woman to drive her daughter her own daughter her biological daughter send her to the grandmother or something like that and bring back her husband that that guy is her husband and that's when i confirmed it's the idea that some women are obsessed with look the only thing that can save your marriage is you and whatever god you serve anything out there is just a distraction heck that's the thing that's even distracting you from actually fixing your marriage it's the reason why your marriage is not fixed and do you know why i still believe that because if it's true that somebody outside can help you save your marriage why is it when the woman or the wife is knocking the trainer or somebody out there that one is a total no-no it's about saving marriages now there is no woman that can
can come out and say that her husband is a two minutes man and she's going out to go and get one hour from somebody and that's the thing that's saving their marriage that all the men will still say that's wrong and fucked up this case we're talking about here is even much more worse think about it in this way now she has to be arranging men for her husband she can't be intimate with her husband she can't feel love with her husband anytime the husband even tries to lay down with her both of them are going to be disgusted he's not getting what he wants and she she's getting something knowing that she's not pleasing him how is that marriage what's there being saved you're just a useful tool to prolong his lineage but there's something even much bigger that you should be worried about what if when your husband passed away you find out that he willed everything to that his side guy and i know some people out there are going to say no the husband cannot do that really we're still arguing what the husband can do and not do after you know what he can do okay funny enough i got a comment in one of my video where a lady said her fiance like that type of knocking from his side chick and how did she find out every time he used to come back home he used to smell like shit shit man and i think it was a good idea that she didn't marry him because it might start from getting that from a woman what about if the side chick says no or gets married and there's nobody to give him that kind of knocking and the only person close by is a fellow man telling him you know what's up i'll give it to you ladies my tell you now something if you didn't say men they honey you never jam gay guy we don't see person where you want me the person knock him. and that's why many of you ladies have to be very 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 worried you may have a good relationship but you're listening to somebody that is lying to you online that their own relationship is the best and stuff like that and you start getting envious not knowing the shit that is going down there and the lies that is going down there i'll do a video about that a very dangerous story coming very soon type your hell here in the comment section and just speed me up in doing that video at the end of the day if you want to cheat chito but don't come here and be giving us lies that that's what's saving your marriage no your marriage is dead you're just lying to yourself and you're lying to everybody around you and that's the bottom line